Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about stocks to buy. These are stocks to buy that I think have bottomed out and are ready to jump back into and ride some serious gains as they recover. All of these companies are highly successful, have been making an inordinate amount of revenue and are all revenue growing companies. So if that sounds like something you're interested in today, guys, do please smash that like button, consider subscribing to the channel and let's get in there and let's take a look at, a look at these stocks to buy. Hey guys, welcome into the video. So the first company we're going to talk about is C Limited, ticker SE. This is a phenomenal company going through a massive growth phase at the moment. Market cap of $80 billion at the moment, but down from an all-time high of $360 down to $144. So that is a huge drop and obviously you can see here that some people have been buying in. If we take a look down here, you can see just how much revenue growth this company has been going through. Okay, it hasn't got, it hasn't been profitable just yet, but it has slowed the rate of loss compared to the amount of revenue that it has made, which is absolutely awesome. Highly rated at a 1.6 on the buy scale, an average analyst price target of $370, a higher 460, and the current share price is 144. So as the market begins to stabilise, this is definitely one to look into because it is still producing a significant amount of revenue and it is in a growing sector as well as you can see here from 2018 through to 2021 the company has gone through massive massive changes in terms of its revenue growth just look at that triple digit revenue growth each and every year which is absolutely fantastic as i said earnings not quite so good as we've already seen there, but they are working on that. You can see that that earnings is starting to stabilize, that they only made the same loss despite doubling their revenue. So that to me suggests that it's work walking in the right direction. And that yet here, you can see that the market cap was right the way up at nearly $200 billion. Now it is down at just the 80 billion right there on the 26th of January. And that is all the way back to June, 2020 prices guys oh no sorry it's all the way back to the november 2020 prices which is absolutely fantastic that is a really really good opportunity to get into with this company right moving on to the next company today guys that is square or also known as block now ticker is still sq and the share price is 121 dollars this is another company that has been heavily smashed by the market crash from 260 dollars all the way down to 120 knocking the market cap down to 55 billion however this company is still doing well it's still a payments company its revenue is still growing it is heavily into crypto as well obviously because that's why it changed its name to block it has smashed all its e consensus eps targets that it has met apart from the most recent which probably will have affected the share price just a little bit but just look at the phenomenal amount of revenue growth and then it is at Actually making a profit as well there are definitely some earnings to be had there the future is extremely bright for this company it is still massively expanding so it's definitely one to look into at these prices and then again if we pop on over to this app you can see that the market cap has been heavily beaten up we're down to 54 billion and you've got to go all the way back to August 2020 to get hold of it at those prices again. So this is a significant opportunity for you to buy in at such low rates. And this won't come down and round very often, guys. That I can be certain. Revenue is just spiking upwards absolutely brilliantly. Look at these changes again. High double digits and then a triple digit in 2020, which is exactly why the share price flew up as much as it did. And now it's been absolutely smashed and there's really no need for the sell-off to be as bad as it was and i believe this company to be oversold and if we take a quick look at, it, at its earnings here again the earnings are peaking off just nicely in exactly all the ways that you fundamentally would want to and just look at the two most recent years yes it struggled as it was setting up and growing but then all of a sudden revenue started to happen and that revenue has doubled for 2020 into 2021 and that can be expected to happen as again and that will be where the share price and investors will be rewarded 
Finally today, the final stock that I want to talk about is SoFi stock. Massively in the news, of course, with the approval of its bank charter. And it has had three big peaks and troughs over the last 12 months or so, all the way up to $23. Some people thought that it would reach that on approval of the bank charter. And that was certainly possible because it's a really good news story for the company. Now that this bank charter has been approved, they expect to have a 25% bonus to their revenue stream each and every quarter going forward. And this company was already absolutely smashing it. Again, if we look down the chart there, its annual revenue has started to creep up massively again as its membership is growing. It is highly rated as a buy by analysts. We have an average price target of 21, a high of 30, and it's currently at a low of 13, which screams massive buy with it going through the growth that it is going through, the membership growth, the flywheel of effect of getting its products out there and then getting them to have extra products each and every time somebody signs up which is absolutely awesome and the Super Bowl is just around the corner as well which is fantastic they will have people there marketing and getting the name this company's name right out there and if we look quickly at the last quarter's earnings presentation just look at those growth figures right there in terms of membership which is absolutely brilliant products again all on the nice curve upwards mainly triple digit growth galileo accounts absolutely up and this is all without the effect of the bank charter being added in that is coming down the line lending products growing just nicely financial services products growing just nicely again and then financially they had it suffered a bit of a blip in quarter four twenty 20 but they've recovered nicely from that and that is exactly what businesses do they suffer blips but the good ones recover from it and if you look at the annual performance of net revenue from 2018 through to the current year which they're not finished with they're already at 900 million and they've already started to make some profit as well which is actual good earnings so that is absolutely fantastic for this company and these three stocks are absolutely awesome and i believe the bottom is in on all of them what can I say about these stocks, guys? They're absolutely awesome. They have shown phenomenal growth over the last couple of years or so, and they have all the potential to continue doing that going forward. So for some of them to be beaten down as much as they have been by over 50% in some cases is absolutely outrageous. I get the fact that there's been a market crash, but there is significant opportunity here for retail investors and hedge funds alike to make a serious amount of money as these companies recover. And that is exactly why I have positions in all of these companies. And as the, the share prices came down, I'm absolutely looking to buy more as soon as I possibly can because these prices will not be around forever. The bottom is in and I believe that they will start recovering very quickly soon. Thank you very much for watching today's video guys. If you could see your way to smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel that would be absolutely awesome and hopefully I'll see you in another investing episode soon. Catch you later.